Hello and welcome to EOC Clergy Chat. In the studio today we have none other than the Bishop Judith Monty. Welcome to the studio, uh, Judy. Hello everyone. My name is Bishop Judith Monty of the Ecumenical Order of Christ. Thank you for having me. How did you come to the Ecumenical Order of Christ and why? I initially found out about the EOC through a good friend of mine, John Griffin. He gave me a lot of information, slowly and logically. Step by step, he laid out the evidence through a great presentation and over many cups of coffee. A few months later, I ended up meeting the clergy in Israel, when I went there for the first time and they had also given me more information that really made a big impact and helped me open my eyes to gain clarity. I realized from that point that there was something more to this and I needed to find out more. How long have you served in the EOC? Back in May of 2016, I decided to make my exodus out of America over to Israel and find out more. I became a deaconess about the end of June, early July of 2016. Currently, it has been exactly almost two years later, and I am now a bishop. What biblical events stand out to you that the people need to know about from the time the Lord arrived? Progressively, since 2011, the state of the world we live in seems to be falling apart at its seams. Growing up as a Christian, I learned a lot about prophecy and the words of Yeshua. He warned us over 2,000 years ago by giving us parables such as the one about the fig tree. We can clearly see that what he was telling his disciples is coming true. Read Matthew 24. It certainly holds a lot of clues. We can see the rumors of wars, nations going against nations, an increase in earthquakes, volcanoes, and other natural disasters. There are many more events that the Bible spoke of, especially in the book of Revelation. It's interesting to note that even if you look throughout other religions or secular texts, they all corroborate each other. So it's very clear the times we live in. Can you tell us of what is coming and should be made aware of? I cannot predict exactly what, how, or when anything will occur, but we have been warned about many things throughout the ancient texts, the imperial region of Lord Rael, as well as through the media and hidden symbolic messages. We must all stay vigilant and make ourselves aware. What I can say is that because of what religious and secular text tells us, there is an increase in spiritual warfare, catastrophic events, and brothers and sisters fighting against each other. Basically, good will become evil and evil good. As far as other events and symbolism, in the International Congregation of Lord Rael, the Imperial Regent gives us other clues. Since Christ returned back in 2011, there is some good news in there because currently there is still time to get on the righteous path, but it is not a wise decision to wait until that last moment. What can people do to prepare? I think the best way to prepare is to prepare in the necessary ways, physically, for all of what will be coming, like as an example would be get extra water, food, emergency supplies, etc. It is also important to prepare mentally and spiritually, the ways that you know you need to. The other equally as important ways are to get right with God, obey his son, the returned Christ, Lord Rael, and last but certainly not least, remember to love God and love each other. Thank you, Cardinal Kennedy. 
Thank you, Judy, and you're most welcome. Please join me again next time uh, where we'll be speaking to further clergy from the Ecumenical Order of Christ. And without further ado, if you, it's morning, noon or night, have a blessed day. And don't forget to love God, love each other. Bye for now.